This is a brand new system with a two-stage five-ton air conditioner that's running in low stage with 36 degree temp drop. And the furnace's wiring diagram shows what the airflow should be. And this shows that five tons, I have a 100,000 BTU furnace, so five tons. And the instruction manual says that that, the default for continuous fan is for low stage. But what I don't know is what is required of low stage. So let's just look real quick here in this. This is the air conditioning manual under variable speed furnace. It says on number two that it should be AC dip switches for high stage. Low stage airflow is determined by continuous fan dip switches and low stage airflow requirements is determined by the product data. Right here. Shown in product data. Right. For low speed. So let's go find product data. This is the Carrier Enterprise app that you should definitely download. Go to Documents, then search for the document name that you want, and it'll pop up with the option that's close to you. Go over to Data Sheet. Data Sheet, there we go. And there's our data sheet. You scroll down to this last page that shows us our model number 24 ACB7 60,000 BTUs with high stage on the top and low stage on the bottom. On the top 300 CFM per ton is 1500 for a 5 ton. On the bottom at 1100 CFM that would be a three and a half ton. Okay, well three and a half tons on 100,000 should be Dip switches three, four, and five it is off, off, on. Let me see that right there. Okay, so dip switches three, off, off, on. Door back on. Now we wait five, six minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you know, 15. Okay, field piece app, measurements. So we've let it run for a little while. Okay, so here, um, let's first discuss, uh, we set it for three and a half tons at 300 CFM per ton is 1,050 CFM, right? 1050. So this puts us at about 40,000 BTUs. So it's just, you know, 36,000 is three and a half. So that's good. Um, so we are getting our dry bulb, and our uh, dry bulb is 27 degrees, still pretty high. Our subcooling is good, but we don't actually measure the subcooling in low stage. So this is all looking, you know, very nice. So let's just recap. We have a two-stage air conditioner. Therefore, we need to set our dip switches. The air conditioner is a five-ton, and per the product data that you find in uh, Carrier Enterprise app, um, you can then look at what the low stage should be. So high stage is given under AC here, and low stage is the same as continuous fan. So instead of just putting continuous fan always on the lowest, which is really nice, you need to put continuous fan at low stage cooling. So high stage for this furnace, 100,000 BTUs, high stage is a five ton, which is default, one AC default, and two, two is two tons, but it's per the product data is a three and a half ton. So a five ton, two stage is three and a half ton for low. So you put uh, AC dip switches to default and CF to uh, three and a half ton for the product data. 
dip switches right here AC default CF three four five so that's three and a half ton my JL3 report five tons of cooling with five tons of air and I ran it about 15-20 minutes before getting the report here <laughs>